Elijah McLean, Elijah McLean, what did you do for them to treat you that way? Elijah McLean, Elijah McLean, you were just going home, they should have left you. I can breathe, I might be right here My name's Elijah McLean and that's my house I was just going home, I'm an introvert I'm just different, that's all, I'm so sorry Elijah McLean, Elijah McLean What did you do? For them to treat you that way. Elijah McLean, Elijah McLean, you were just going home, they should have left you alone. I have no gun, I don't do that stuff, I don't do any fighting. Why are you attacking? I don't even kill flies I don't eat meat But I don't judge people I don't judge people Who do eat meat Elijah McLean Elijah McLean What did you do For them to treat you that way? Elijah McLean Elijah McLean, you were just going home. They should have left you alone. Forgive me, all I was trying to do was become better. I will do it, I will do anything. I'll sacrifice my identity, I'll do it. You all are phenomenal. Elijah McLean, Elijah McLean, you were just going home, they should have left you alone. Try to forgive me, I'm a mood Gemini, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, oh, that really hurt, you all are very strong, teamwork makes Dream work, I'm sorry I wasn't trying to do that, but I just can't breathe. Elijah McLean, Elijah McLean, what did you do for them to treat you that way? Elijah McLean, Elijah McLean, you were just going home. They should have left you I'll have to say, Dave, um, I don't think I've ever had an accordion in in the studio when I've done a, a cabaret, so I think you might be a first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've done plenty of them in here over the years. Yeah. But yeah, this is my first time with you as well. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Sounds great. Cool. So, um, let's see, ladies and gentlemen, this is KGNU Boulder, Denver, and Fort Collins. And uh, my name's Will Two-Step, and thanks for tuning in to the Cabaret program here. Um, Silent Bear, what's the next tune, man? 
Well, this one, uh, this past summer, I was doing some traveling in uh, South Dakota. Mm -hmm. uh, stopped in Rapid City. I was visiting a friend over there. She was working for a tourist spot, uh, Fort Hayes, where they had the set for dances with wolves. And then, so she got some passes, you know, for some other spots. And we checked out uh, a place called Reptile Gardens. It's in some ways, it's good because the kids, they like to see those animals, you know. But then, then you see, like, uh, cobras and big snakes. They're, like, 12 feet long. They're in this little, like, diorama-type thing. And then we went outside. There's uh, Cheyenne, the bald eagle. And, and it's female eagle. She was shot in the wing, and they restored her, saved her life. And, uh, but now she's there in one of those, you know, exhibits. And uh, what I noticed right away was her, her beauty, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I kind of communed with her spirit, and this is, this is what came out. Cool. It's called Cheyenne the Bald Eagle. Shine the bald eagle took a bullet to her wing. She was flying over South Dakota above the cottonwood trees. Now she sits in a diorama in a tourist trap on Route 16. Where all the tourists go get her and feed her stale saltines. Shine, 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 your beauty fills the sky. Shine, 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 like a mystery from all. All the winds of glory have been taken from your sail. In a poor man's resurrection, you manifest in jail. Though your beauty is not forsaken as you stand inside. Although they stole your gift of life, they could not touch your dream. Shine, 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 your beauty fills the sky. Shine, 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 like a mystery from all. Long before this country stole your dignity and pride, you soared with the other eagles above the great divine. They took you as their symbol and tattooed you Like a chisel to a mountain in shards of broken glass. Shine, 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 your beauty fills the sky. Shine, 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 like a mystery from all.
Your true name is Wombly Gleshka, the spotted eagle of the plains. An ally to the Lakota above the great black hills. One day you'll leave to rejoin them in the happy hunting With crazy horse and city bull in glory upon high. Shine, 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 your beauty fills the sky. Shine, 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 like a mystery. From on Silent Bear. That's a beautiful song, man. How old is that? That's my most recent one, I want to say, within the last two months. Oh, cool, man. I think I debuted it at a open mic at the Roots uh, Music. Music yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did a songwriter show with Clay Rose there back last summer, but mm -hmm. that was probably r right before the trip I took her. Cool, cool, man. Uh -huh. that, that's, that's awesome. Awesome story. Beautiful, beautiful. And Dave, nice, nice, nice add-ons with that man with the accordion. That's really cool. Oh, well, thank you. Really cool. Um, what's next song, man? Yeah, we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Uh, of a real a dear friend out in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. His name is uh, Roman Morocco. Also a great lyricist. Uh, and through the years, I'll always hit him up. Hey, do you got anything? You got anything for me? And uh, and he sent me this lyric, and uh, it's kind of taps into like an iconic archetype of the freight train, you know. Mm. Uh, so I'm thinking about Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee and uh, Elizabeth Cotton and Lightning Hopkins. Uh, uh, they all, Howlin' Wolf, they all tapped in Pete Seeger, Woody Guthrie to that archetype of the freight train. So. That's what this song is called, Freight, Freight Train. Freight Train. I'd like to dedicate uh, my, my friend. He lost his mom unexpectedly a, bit, a few months back, so I'm going to dedicate it to her memory. This is. So here it goes. <laughs> Look out, mama, can't you hear that sound? There's a screaming freight train leaving out of town Gonna take me far away Gonna bring me better days I don't wanna stay, I just wanna run Down that line, fast as far as I'm gone Don't you cry in vain and wait I'm flying out to another state well, don't you know it's hard to go But I can't take the weight you gave me anymore Dead dreams and the same old scene Words can't say just what I mean Off in the distance there's a satellite Where the stars burn high with the moon at night As I play my Music in a rock and roll 
Look out, mama, can't you hear that sound? I'm free as a jailbird on the ground. Throw away these heavy chains as I ride down that freedom highway. Don't you get scared and start no fuss on my trouble so Cool, man. That was good. Oh, what was the gentleman's name that wrote the lyrics again? Roman Morocco. Roman Morocco from Pennsylvania, huh? Aliquippa, yeah. I knew him when I used to live back in New York. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we we uh, had some common, you know, good artistic community back there, back there. Nice, nice. That's cool, man. Nice, nice tune, nice tune. Cool, man. Um, I got a question for you, uh, Silent Bear. I've seen you play this guitar for years. We've known each other for quite a period of time. You've worn a whole, th whole through the soundboard on it, uh, on, on this thing. How long have you had it, and what year was it, man was it created? I think I got this. Uh, I was telling Dave, uh, I did my first uh, CD back in 97. So I want to say I got this in 96, mm -hmm. uh, right before, you know, we did you know, about a six months before we did those sessions and, and uh, we did that back uh, at Maple Shade Records. Uh, uh, my dear dear old uh, friend Khalil Kwame Bell, uh, mm -hmm. great percussionist from out there. And, uh, it's produced by Larry Willis, a piano player, uh, jazz piano player. So, so I got the guitar back then, but this is the, this is the Natural Woods series, so they don't have any pick guards on mm -hmm. this. Uh, so I like to say, I could say that I'm trying to emulate uh, Willie Nelson, you know, <laughs> tearing up my guitar, but you're working it's, on it, man. It's just that it don't have a pick guard, and it said don't it don't doesn't affect the sound really. So I said, well, I'll just oh, not all. So, right, you know. <laughs> right, 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 right on, man, yeah. right on. Oh, cool, cool, nice. Um, uh, this is KGNU, Boulder, Denver, Fort Collins. I'm, I'm Will Two-Step. This is uh, Silent Bear and Dave uh, Willie on the far end over there on accordion, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, yeah, we got you know, about 40 minutes left in the program here. So uh, what's next, Silent Bear? All right. Uh, first, change the harmonica. Okay, no problem. Um, let's talk about uh, while you do that. Um, Dave, uh, your first time I've had you on, you've been here a long time over the years. Um, and... Uh, you uh, founded a band called Hamster uh, Theater, correct? Yes, yes. Co-founded co it with John Stubbs. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, what year was that, man? 93, I believe. 93, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember um, I got turned on to them by listening to KGNU. I yeah, sure. Yeah, they, they played us on KGNU. And right. actually, it seems like everything that I've done has been promoted by being played on KGNU. Cool. I was I, I have a band called Three Mice, which is uh, you know three or four people, right? And and they played the heck out of it back Barry in '99, right, right, yeah. and Farrell Lowe played the heck out of it. 
Cool. Um, and that was really good for us, you know. Right, right. And currently you're playing with uh, Dexter Payne, right? Yeah, I play with the Dexter Payne quintet. Sometimes it's a quartet, but usually it's more, um, it's Brazilian music. Cool, man. Right um, on. All right. We good Silent Bear? Yeah, no problem, man. So, um, if you like what you're listening to, um, Silent Bear's got a trio and license number one in Boulder in the basement of the uh, Boulderado on May 24th from 9.30 to about 12.30. Uh, he'll be playing and then also he'll have uh, on the last Friday of the month, last Fridays of the month from there on out for a period of time, he'll be doing um, a residency there uh, on the last Fridays. Yeah, thank you. I'm looking forward to that. And Back to the music here. This is a uh, song I wrote back probably in the Bush years, so I want to say it was originally touching on uh, paradoxes and contradictions, you know. Like you build someone up, you give them weapons, and later on now you decide you don't like them, so you got to hunt them down and kill them. Or you're talking about evil and terrorism, and your dad's the former head of the CIA, you know. Maybe the grandfather financed uh, the Nazi party or something like that. And then, uh, wh what, what exactly is a holy war? You know, we all have the same father, same mother. If you cut the skin, we all bleed red. So, so this one song, this song's called Shadowlands. <laughs> When a man is a whole of firm contradictions Like a lightning bolt in the sun And his dreams lay tangled in a spider's knot In the web of the chosen one And the mystery's eyes are broken With red blood spilled in the sand and he walks through the gate with blood on his hands into the shadowlands. And the times are lost in anger and feelings of holy unrest. And you try to count through the numbers. But there's no match for the test And the windows have all been broken With cold hearts torn in despair And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Into the shadowlands The shadowlands Shadowlands And it's a dog eat dog And a man kills a man Into the shadowlands In the gardens fallen angels Are all wrecked up towards the sun as the Holy Lamb's apostles come charging with their loaded guns and the holy wars are fighting till there's no one left to be blessed and it's a lack of respect and a god-awful mess into these shadows.
And our friends are all our enemies And our enemies are all our friends And we're walking on this tightrope Just trying to make amends In the mystery land of shadows In the vague clouds of thunder's gray we walk on our hands and we bow down and pray for your love in these shadowlands. The shadowlands. The shadowlands. And he walks through the gate with blood on his hands. Into the shadowlands Into the shadowlands Into the shadowlands Yeah, nice, nice Real nice. Got two questions for you this time, Silent Bear. One's from um, a listener. I uh, wanted to know what part of New York, what town, or where were you at during that time period that uh, that last song, Freight Train, came out? Valley Stream, Long Island. Valley Stream. That's right. Yeah, I was in Valley Stream, Long Island. Valley that. Stream, Long Island. Okay, cool. Not too far from Kennedy Airport. Oh, okay. Oh, my kind of my hometown. I grew up on the other side in, in New Jersey. So uh, not not too far. I I was like twenty miles from uh, from Newark Airport. I was, got two sisters out there, Deborah and Mindy. One's in close Westfield, and then one's close to Morristown. I cool. Forget that, uh, oh yeah, Morristown, right? Um, so the other question I I have this one comes from me. You you um, when a song comes to you, is it melody first or is it um, um, uh, lyrics? Uh, I have to say that it happens like every which way. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> some of them, uh, some of them, like a melody or maybe a chorus, will pop into my head. Mm -hmm. and then I'll have to etch out the rest of it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, verses, and sometimes I'll, I'll come up with a chord progression, you know, work off of that, and, or sometimes, you know. If I'm lucky, it all comes together. <laughs> it just <laughs> pops out. You know, that's happened a few times, too. So Right on. But I don't like, you know, a lot of songwriters say, you know, you're, you're, that's, you're treading on mysterious waters there, you know, how mm -hmm. you can't really describe it, you know. Cool, cool. Right on, man. Um, so um, Dave Willie's back with us on the accordion. What's the name of the next tune, Silent Bear? Uh, this one's called Oblivion. Uh, uh, I recently saw a documentary on uh, Kurt Cobain, you know, they showed him in that uh, lonely room, you know, and then another one about Jimi Hendrix, you know, and then, I don't know, did uh, did his, Kurt's old lady do him in, and or Jimi Hendrix, they said they poured CIA and uh, the mob, they poured down a lot of red wine and choked him to death, you know, so. I, I'd but like they, to interject something. Go ahead, lean, lean forward uh, toward the mic there, Dave. I met Courtney Love when I was five and she was seven. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> was that just a chance meeting or parents know each other what? Well, I, uh, she was a Unitarian, and they came to our Unitarian fellowship on their way up to Seattle. Oh. Yeah. Her, cool. her, their last name is Harrison. Nice, man. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, cool. All right. So this kind of kind of deals with that. What isolation and you know it could be drug abuse, alcohol abuse. It could just be depression. You know, you're finding yourself in isolation. And so uh, those feelings uh, came through in this song. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
oblivion Compassion's evil twin Thrown into the lion's den In the emptiness of oblivion Oblivion You took my only child Found her dead and gone In the cold caress of cadaver Why do you always need to overcome her? Why do you always need to hide your face? Why do you always need to overcome her? I can feel Here it comes again, oblivion, 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 like Jonah in the whale, ship without a sail, in the Quiet screams of desperation Oblivion When will you come again? You my only friend Just the enemy that defends Why do you always need to overcome her? Why do you always need to hide your face? Why do you always need to overcome her? I can feel it creeping in Here it comes again Oblivion Oblivion Barely awake On the wings of the dark Shadows envelop her soul Thoughtless and numb With a slow beating heart Destiny weeps in a stole her like a thief but you offered no relief from the buried pain that was hurting her oblivion like a needle to the soul can fill the gaping hole from the pop balloon of infinity Why do you always need to overcome her? Why do you always need to hide your face? Why do I 
I can feel it creeping Here it comes again Oblivion Oblivion Compassion Thrown into the lion's den In the emptiness of oblivion KGN, KGNU, Boulder, Denver, and Fort Collins. This is the Cabaret Program. We're live here with Silent Bear and Dave uh, Willie through the top of the hour which looks like we have about 22 23 minutes left guys and this has uh, been a really great time and um getting a couple of emails and stuff from folks out there and say you guys are sounding really good man so uh yeah well, right, thank right you on. yeah much appreciated thank, yeah. thank you for listening happy spring to everybody yes that's true yes equinox yes absolutely beautiful um what's next well i spoke about that uh, record uh, River Drum Child and spending a lot of time in jazz clubs in a particular club called Smalls. Uh, that's where I met those two gentlemen I was talking about, uh, Khalil Kwame Bell and Larry Willis. And this was something I wrote in the back room. They had a, you know, back, there was no backstage, it was at the, the old kitchen from the restaurant. So. Mm -hmm. I had a lyric pad. This is one that came lyrics first. I wrote the lyrics, and and I was trying to write something in the classic vernacular, you know, Amer great American songbook. So this is called uh, Lady of the Lake. the land shower me in your firm hands above the dawn where angels break into the love nest of a song we carry on In the gift that love brings Lady of the land Lavish me upon your loving light Into the twilight of a dream In mystic reverie into the love nest of a song Where dreams are born And our hearts can sing forever more Lady of my life Walk with me upon the broken shore With distant dreams of paradise <coughs> In our lonely eyes Into the shadow of a song Like once before When our love was like the endless sea Yeah, 
It's called Lady Lake, Lady of the Lake. CD was called River Drum Child. It's, uh, Very cool. Hey, you were talking about, um, you're working on recording. A new release, right? Yeah, it's coming little by little. Uh, uh, we did a single about a year ago, and that, that might be our next tune uh, called Viola Liu. So uh, we recorded it in a studio in Broompel called Rabbit Hole Studios. A man named David Hinojosa, he, mm -hmm. he uh, engineered it for me, also played Cajon, and Dave, Dave was on it. And, and uh, looking to record some of these more, you know, singer songwriter folk like songs, and uh, and I also have some electric material I'd like to get on, uh, get on tape, if only to, you know, you know, John Coltrane is still alive. If you put on YouTube and you hear that, you know, something you could commune with him, you know, Thelonious Monk and. Pete Seeger, mm -hmm. Woody Guthrie, yet. so you know, just to make sure my music's uh, documented. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, good call, man. And Dave, um, you mentioned also, uh, if you lean forward toward your mic, that um, you have a release coming out the first of April. Was it that correct date? Yeah, April first. I, I I did some uh, <clears throat> free improvisation with my friend Michael O'Neill, and you know he's been around here for a long, long mm -hmm. time. He was in a band called Coyote Palace and has has collaborated, I believe, with like George Figs and other people, um, Sam Fuqua. Um, anyways, um, he came over and, you know, I just called him up and I was like, do you want to come over and play? And he's kind of like, uh, what do you want to do? And I said, I don't know. And so we, we sat in, in my studio and we, we didn't face each other, and we didn't talk about anything that we were going to do. We just plugged in and played um, what we played, and it was fantastic and just, um, I mean, really unimaginably deep. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. That's coming up. I'm also working on a new album for the band Three Mice, mm -hmm. which may be out at some point <laughs> okay oh, cool. and uh, if you're folks if you're looking that's uh dave uh uh willie which is w-i-l-l-e-y w-i-l-l-e-y if you want to uh, search that out when it comes out here in the uh, first of april um and you mentioned george figs i want to give a big shout out george is on the other side of the glass here he's our producer and engineer for this program as always george making it sound great thanks man thank you george absolutely and um and again, a big uh, thanks to Longmont Public Media for streaming us here on on, on, on YouTube. So uh, yeah, right on, man. All right, what's the next tune? So uh, yeah, I was talking about we. Uh, I got uh, a lot of people, especially on KGNU. They know me from my longtime supporter of Leonard Peltier, Native American political prisoner. And uh, uh, when I was studying his case, I came. Uh, wanted to study COINTELPRO in general, and I came across uh, somebody's name, a woman named Viola Liuso, and she was, uh, uh, she got compelled to go down to Selma, Alabama to uh, help out uh, Martin Luther King with the march down there, and they, they had her driving around people, and uh, uh, the, the general... You know, if you look at uh, the common uh, knowledge or, you know, say, oh, she, he, uh, she was uh, surrounded by a car with uh, three Klansmen and, uh, w and at one of them was an FBI informant, the fourth one. And mm -hmm. they say, well, the, the Klan shot her and he was the witness and he testified against them all clean and nice. But later came out, uh, as I did, I was peeling the onion. You know, this I had to song I had to do research for and the more I. Uh, did the more horrified I became, you know, because it was the FBI informant himself. He was the one that shot uh, Viola Liuzzo, and uh, uh, so I wrote the song, and then I, I got 
had the honor of speaking to one of her sons, and he confirmed that what I wrote in the song is what happened. So, and they call this uh, Women uh, History Month or Appreciation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should be every day, you know. Where yeah. where will we be out? Yeah. Without the women, you know, the givers of life. So, but she deserves to be honored. And this is a, it's like a, she's a tragic, heroic tale. So, well, so let me just, I'll sing the song and the story is in there. Part of her story. Viola, Viola Liuzzo, the KKK shot you down. The FBI man looking on Viola Viola Liuzzo Well they just killed you dead Shot a bullet through your head You were champion for civil Rides. You heeded Martin's call and you joined the fight To Selma, Alabama on your way you did right You put your life on the line for the cause to survive Viola, Viola Liuzzo The KKK shot you FBI man looking on Viola Viola Liuzzo Well they just killed you dead Shot a bullet through your head The only thing that Racists hate more than the blacks Where the whites helping them Her daughter did say They burned a cross on their lawn And fired shots at their house Called them nigger lovers With their ignorant mouths Sarah Evans was your best friend A black restaurant worker she was true to the end Took care of your kids after they took your life She was loyal and kind and colorblind Well, your husband and your kids, well, they did cry. Another covert victim of the FBI. Like MLK and Malcolm X, they put you out of the way, put a noose around your neck. In J. Edgar Hoover, the sick racist sociopath, tried to smear as to cover his tracks but in the eyes of the truth the law ain't always right what's done in the dark will be brought to the light viola viola the the fbi shot you KKK Viola Viola Liuzzo. The game was rigged from the start Shot a bullet through your heart 
Turned out the real killer was the FBI man, but he got let off because he testified against the Klan. They brought up charges of murder in the first degree, but as Viola lay dead, her murderer was set free. So the family sued the FBI, but a federal judge threw out the case and it was neutralized. So all they got was a large court fee bill the government fraud prevailed and justice was still. Hoover got his name on a building in the center of town as Viola lay six feet under the ground. They left five kids scared and motherless as we shall overcome bled FBI shut you down. The KKK in their palm. Viola, Viola lives They rigged the game from the start. Shot a bully. Quality for the black and white. Viola, Viola, one day they'll sing your song. Make right. Very nice tune, man. Thank very, you. Very nice tune. It's a very moving story, of course. Hopefully everybody's familiar with that. If not, look it up in the history books, man. There's a great documentary called, uh, uh, I think, something, uh, something of the Brave, the Land of the Brave. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool. All right, we're inside of, um, I think, six minutes ah we're right inside of five minutes left in the program i do want to let folks know you have been listening to the kg new cabaret program live each and every tuesday night from 7 to 8 p.m we bring you live musicians from up and down the front range and next week will be um becca luna will be hosting and uh ann cutler will be the artist and uh tune in for that next week and um Let's see. Oh, yeah. And uh, Doug Gertner uh, at the top of the hour will be bringing you Sound Lab. So stay tuned for that. Doug always does a great job. And that, that will be coming from our studio down in Denver. Um, so you're within inside f- uh, five minutes. You got one more tune for us, Silent Bear? Yeah, well, let's try to squeeze it out. Here. Okay. Called, this is called uh, Take a Knee. Take a knee. 
take a knee, take a knee, take a knee, take a knee, take a knee. For Colin K and Muhammad Ali said, take a knee, take a knee. But those still struggling to be free, take a knee, I'm begging, please, I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee. For MLK and Kennedy, I said, take a knee, take a knee. For brothers being shot down by the police. Take a knee for decency, I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee, for the slain and wounded knee. I said, take a knee, take a knee, for the slain and wounded knee. It's time to learn our true history, I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee, against the KKK and neo-Nazis. Take a knee. Take a knee against the KKK and neo-Nazis. Take a knee against white supremacy. I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee against fascism and tyranny. I said, take a knee, take a knee against fascism and tyranny. Take a knee in the land of the free. I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee. Take a knee against Big Pharma and corporate greed. I said, take a knee, take a knee against Big Pharma and corporate greed. Take a knee on Old Wall Street. I'm praying on my bandit. Take a knee, take a knee for women's rights and equality. I said, take a knee, take a knee for women's rights and equality. For Sandra Bland and Lady Liberty, I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee against pipelines and oil companies. I said, take a knee. Take a knee against pipelines and oil companies. Water is life, my knee with your knee. I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee against profiling and brutality. I said, take a knee, take a knee against profiling and brutality. Take a knee against Giuliani. I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee. Take a knee with Seeger and Belafonte. I said, take a knee, take a knee with Seeger and Belafonte. Still waiting for Peltier to be free. I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee against Donald Trump and Francis Scott Key. I said, take a knee. Take a knee against Donald Trump and Francis Scott Key. No more celebrating war and slavery. I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee. Colin K and Muhammad Ali said, take a knee, take a knee. But those still struggling to be free. Take a knee, I'm begging, please. I'm praying on my bended knees. Take a knee, take a knee. Take a knee, take a knee, take a knee, take a knee, take a knee.